Hello there everybody and welcome to my truck tutorial for Satisfactory. In this video we're going to set up an automated truck delivery line together. I'm going to talk about all the things you need to know and I hope that by the end of this video you have everything you need to know to get your delivery lines automated. Now first up we're gonna get started with what we're doing here. We want to transport some coal from the mine over to the power generator. Nothing special and goes like this. First up you need a node like this one here where your cargo will originate from. Then next step we need to build ourselves a truck station. These here have a front and a back side. The back side has uh, openings for conveyors as you can see and the front side has this little cargo box in front of it. You left click it to place it down and this side is the one that goes uh, that, that's for the uh, trucks and the back side is for the loading and unloading purposes. So here we have two for the cargo and one for fuel. This would be unloading. Now we're going to now connect the loading base to this area. I beg the forgiveness for ignoring the um, clipping like a boss. You can do this to your own liking or disliking at home. And what we're doing now, we have now the stuff here connected, but as you see, nothing happens out of one simple reason, no power. These things don't do anything if they aren't powered up. But now we can see cargo fills in and down here we select whether the station should be used for loading or unloading purposes. It's always whether or, you can't have both obvious. So. We are next building a truck that we're going to use for the automation. The tractor is going to be placed down here. If you place it down right next to a running uh, truck station that is per, uh, providing fuel, you immediately get some. We are going to put some cargo in there out of our own pocket. And now, when you go onto this hatch here, that's very important, you can configure the cargo also fuel it up if it isn't fueled automatically and over here you get to drive that thing okay so when we're manual driving we can here first up load and unload that thing manually but we want to automate things so press q for starting to record and now we press escape i'm pressing f to get that loading in And now we're driving along. WASD does control the thing. The truck is a little bit, um, well, an acquired taste in terms of driving, but it ain't bad. Does the job quite decently. And when you're driving, here's the rule of thumb. The better prepared your road, the faster you can drive, the faster this thing gets, uh, gets its cargo delivered. Because the fun part is, this thing will exactly use my hand-driven uh, uh, tour henceforth. So there we go. Over here is our unloading station. I'm setting myself down here. Now I'm pressing F to unload. Picking up the coal that I got. And now we're driving a nice little loop here. And now you start seeing your own nodes from the previous tour. This is quite handy, as you can simply follow these to get back to your original point. Because we need to drive the entire loop once to get it savable. Go. Just like that. Driving on in. Path recording con uh, completed, and now we can save the path, and we call it uh, coal to generator, maybe, something like that. And now we go and enable the autopilot, load the path that we have, here you see the check mark, and now we are going to... see if this thing is doing what it's supposed to do. This is the most crucial part. I always love to follow my truck around to see whether it's working or not. Because, uh, well, sometimes the macro that you're saving 
since the macro is a little bit uh, easy to confuse with the heading of the truck, as you saw there, it did a turn that I didn't configure. That's because I um, didn't record the, the U-turn at the end. Some things like these can happen quite easily to you. But uh, in general, if you don't want to make a big science out of it, you honestly just uh, do something like this. Avoid driving backwards too much, because I really noticed that driving backwards uh, confused the hell out of that macro. And you follow it. If it is able to get the tour done once or twice completely without uh, getting stuck somewhere, congratulations, you did it successfully. From this point on, you can also go and run around and try to optimize your, uh, your tours. What's very, very important though is you should keep in mind that uh, this is the easiest if you build roads and uh, it gets harder and harder the more natural obstacles you have like these bumpy uh, stones and whatnot. So in the awesome store at the, uh, where, where, at the uh, awesome sink, you also can build your, uh, by yourself some asphalt road uh, skins for this whole thing. So if you want to have some, some nice looks to that, feel free to knock yourself out. So as you see there, let's see, does it kill itself while doing this? No, it worked on out perfectly. Congratulations, you've automated yourself a lot. Here it uh, changes the heading. But that's okay. This, by the way, is a good example of why you should give these trucks enough space to uh, maneuver themselves a little bit. If you build too narrow, things can uh, end up with uh, getting stuck. That's been my personal experience. But yeah, that's been that. That's pretty much all that is to it. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you found this helpful. I keep it short like this because you know that's all you need to know basically about this entire um, topic there. Because, you know, that is the one of the easiest ways of deliver goods for quite some time. And I uh, can only recommend to use it. So, with that all said, thanks for watching you all. Drop me your comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you do differently. If you do anything differently, I'm all eager to hear back from you because this is a sandbox factory game and therefore there's quite a lot of things you can do differently about it. So also check out the description box. Feel free to subscribe and there is also a couple of links for supporting the channel directly. So if you want to support Icon Gaming financially, that would be really, really amazing and I'd be very, very grateful. Many thanks to all of you who do support the channel and many thanks for watching this video up until the very end. You're still around here. I appreciate. See you all next time. Bye bye.